Hey everybody, it's Steve, and I wanna show you my new Shed's 8x12 beam light bar. And in case you haven't noticed, it's long. In fact, two of them are seven feet long, and that's enough to fill a stage or small dance floor with a lot of light. In this video, I wanna unbox one, go through its features, and then look at its menu functions, see its DMX channels, and finally watch two with the hazer going. This is packed in a heavy-duty double cardboard box with a little manual, two mounting brackets, a PowerCon power cable, DMX cable, and under these foam inserts, the big long fixture. This thing is obviously long at 42 inches. It's a little over six inches tall, and it's about three inches wide at the base. And it's pretty hefty at 16 and a half pounds. It's got PowerCon in and out jacks, so you can daisy chain your power, DMX in and out, an on off switch, a panel mount fuse, and standard LED display and menu controls. And on the top, there's eight 12 watt RGBW LEDs and each one throws a pretty narrow 8 degree beam. The head moves a full 180 degrees of tilt and there's this heat sink on the back to help keep it cool. There's a 9 channel DMX mode that I'm going to show you in a minute but there's also a 38 channel mode where you can mix the RGBW values of each one of these lights individually if you really want that much control. Going through the menu functions, when you see the first A001, that's the DMX starting address in 38 channel mode. So if you hit enter, you can go up or down, set the starting address. If you hit the menu again and hit enter, this is now the starting address if you're in nine channel mode. And you can go up and down, hit enter. When you hit it again, here is where you change between 9-channel and 38-channel mode. Keep it in 9-channel mode and hit enter. In the next mode, here's where you can go between different modes. One is actually master, DMX mode, a slave mode, and then an auto function that you can put it in, and then one more press and you're in a sound active mode. When you go into this function, this actually allows different patterns to be selected, 21 different patterns in sound active mode. I want to go back into auto mode to show you this next thing. So now, now we're in auto mode. And when you go to the speed control, you can see the lights are cycling really fast now. But if we bring this down and hit enter, now the light effects are going to cycle much more slowly. And if we go into LED and hit enter, when it's on, the LED is always on. But when we put this off, now the LED is going to turn off after five seconds. But you can always bring it back by hitting the menu button. I'm going to turn it back to always on. Then the next control inverts the display. So yes, it's right side up in this position, but no, it's gonna reverse the display for hanging. Let's put it back to yes. And then in this setting, in DMX mode, you can reverse the tilt. It says reverse pan, but I guess it's reversing the tilt. And then and the final mode is a 
reset function. This fixture is in nine channel DMX mode, so I'm gonna be controlling it using an app on my iPad. And you can see on channel one, this controls the tilt a full 180 degrees. Channel two controls the pan and tilt speed. So if you bring the value up, It's much slower. Let's bring it back down. On channel three, there's different effects built in. Let's see, let me pan this down. And with channel four, you can control the speed that the light effects run. Lower values are slower. Channel five is a dimmer. Zero is off. Fold on the top. And let's take the effects off now. And with the dimmer up, Channel six controls the red of all the lights. Channel seven, the green. Channel eight, the blue. And channel nine, the white. And in 38 channel DMX mode, you can control the color of each light individually. As of December, 2022, you can get one of these for $159 with free shipping to the US at the link below. Now, here's two of them going with the Hazer. Thanks a lot for watching and please subscribe.